Orthographic Projection. In this video, we will learn how to draw an orthographic projection of a given object. This is the second video on this topic. If you haven't watched my previous video, the link for the playlist is provided in the description, or the i button. Since all the required basics are explained in the previous video, in this video we will directly start drawing. Consider this figure. Instructions are as follows. Draw the following views for the given isometric view. Front view looking from X direction. Top view. And, side view. This given view of the object is called the isometric view. Here we can see the object drawn in a three-dimensional view. By looking at this view we have to draw a two-dimensional view of the object. Before drawing we need to draw the reference lines. Since there are no instructions are given for whether to draw using the first angle or third angle method, we will draw the orthographic view using the first angle method. In the first angle method, the front view of the object will be above the XY line and the top view will be below the XY line. The left hand side view of the object will be on the right hand side, that is here. Suppose the viewing direction was given on this side, then this view would have been the front view of the object, and this view would have been the right hand side view of the object. In that case, the front view, which is this view we would have drawn here, and the right hand side view, which is the view visible from this side, would have been drawn here. Let's start drawing. When we view the object from the direction X, this is how it looks. I will color the visible sides on the isometric view for your convenience. We can see the height of the object as 48 millimeters, and the width of the object as 104 millimeters. The height of each step is 16 millimeters, and the width of this portion is 24 millimeters. This is how it will look. This is the required front view of the object. Draw a rough figure with all the required dimensions for your convenience. Let's start drawing the front view. Draw a horizontal line of 104 millimeters in length. Next, draw a vertical line of 48 millimeters from the end point of this line and construct the rectangle. Next, we will draw this portion. We can see the width of this portion is 24 millimeters. Therefore, mark a point at 24 millimeters length from this point. And draw a light vertical line from this point. After this, we can see the distance between these steps as 16 millimeters. Therefore, mark the points on a vertical line at 16 millimeters. Draw the horizontal lines from these points. We can see this vertical line is only up to this first step. Therefore, draw a dark line up to this point. Here is the required front view of the object. Next, we will draw the top view of the object. When we see the object from the top, this is how it will look. We can see this length is given as 72 millimeters. This width will remain the same, that is, 104 millimeters. The width of this portion will also be 24 millimeters. The width of these steps when we look from the top view will be 24 millimeters. This is how the top view of the object looks. Take a drafter and draw the reference lines from the top view. After this, Draw a horizontal line of 104 millimeters. Next, draw a vertical line of 72 millimeters and construct a rectangle. After this, we need to draw this section. We can see the width of this section is 24 millimeters. Draw the light vertical line from this point. Next, we need to draw horizontal lines for the steps. We can see, the distance between these steps when we look at it from the top is 24 millimeters. Therefore, mark the points 24 millimeters apart on this vertical line. After this, draw the lines from these points. At last, darken this line up to this horizontal line. This is the final required top view of the object. At last, we will draw the side view. When we view the object from the left hand side, this is how it looks. 
We can see the height of this object in the side view is 48 millimeters, and the width is 72 millimeters. The width of each step is 24 millimeters, and the height is 16 millimeters. This is how the object looks in the left hand side view. Let's start drawing. Take a drafter and draw the horizontal reference lines from the front view. Next, we can draw the vertical reference lines from the top view. To do so, draw an inclined line. After this, draw horizontal reference lines from each corner point of the top view, up to this inclined line. Next, draw the vertical lines from each of these points. These lines will help us in drawing the side view. Draw a vertical line of 48 millimeters, which will be equal to the length between these horizontal lines. Draw a horizontal line of 72 millimeters and construct the rectangle as shown. We got the outline of the side view. After this, we need to draw these steps. We can see, these reference lines will help in drawing. Draw a horizontal line of 24 millimeters from this point. After this, draw a vertical line of 16 millimeters. And again draw the horizontal line of 24 millimeters and vertical line of 16 millimeters. This is the final required left side view of the object. These are the required orthographic projections of the given object. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw the orthographic projection of a given object. If you like this video, click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications to get my latest videos.